Hey, Intro to Algebra. Okay, we're going to do a couple of problems together just to remind you what you learned on Thursday. So, some of the problems you're going to do today are like this, where you've got to uh, decide how many solutions you have by graphing, and you'll have this graph down here. So, I just want to remind you how we graph in standard form, because the easiest way is to find the x and y intercepts. So, over here in my paper, I've written x-intercept plug in y equals zero. So that's what I'm going to do here first. I'm going to do 12x plus 9 times 0 equals negative 36, and then solve for the x. So my x-intercept, negative 3, 0. That's one of the points that I can plot. For my y-intercept, I'm going to plug in 0 for x. So my y-intercept is 0, negative 4. The other equation we're going to have to graph is 4x plus 3y equals negative 12. I want you to pause the video and find the x and the y intercepts for this equation. Great. Now what you might notice is that the x-intercept and the y-intercept for these two lines, they're both the same. So um, if we were going to go and graph these, so suppose this blue line is the first one, my x-intercept is negative 3, 0, that's right there, and then 0, negative 4 for my y-intercept. And then for the other line, it's the same. So you notice these two lines are going to lie right on top of each other. So what does that mean for number of solutions? We have infinitely many. Every single point on the line is a solution. Great. So if you had had a situation uh, where the x and the y-intercept were not the same, um, such as this one, if you find the x and the y-intercept here, these are going to be not the same. And you go to graph it, you'll see... <coughs> Either that these are going to be two parallel lines. So suppose they're parallel lines like this, maybe. Okay. If you had two parallel lines, then you know um, there's going to be no solution. And if they intersect in some point, right, like those lines do, then you'll know there's exactly one solution. But it's the same process for each one, finding the x and the y intersect. Great. The other assignment that you have um, is to find the number of solutions algebraically. Okay, so if we have a, a system such as this, um, that you could solve either by substitution or by elimination. You might be able to tell right away how many solutions this system has. So for me, I can tell from the slopes that these are not parallel lines, and they can't be overlapping. So I know this is going to have one solution. But let's pretend I just didn't I didn't notice that. So I'm going to go ahead and start solving. For me, this one looks like an easy one to solve by substitution because I can substitute this for the y. Now I've got negative 2x plus 4, oh sorry, minus 4, equals 3x plus 3. And when I go to solve this, x equals negative 7 fifths. And I can just plug in to find y. But I don't actually need to for this problem. Because what I know is that there's going to be just one solution. If it asks me for the solution, I'd have to find it. But for this one, I can just say, this is going to be exactly one solution. Okay, let's suppose you get a, um, a system like this one. This has both things in standard form. And when we have two equations in standard form, that's a really nice situation to solve by elimination. I notice that if I take this top equation and multiply both sides by negative 5, then I would be able to cancel out the x's. I've got negative 5x minus 5y equals negative 15, and I'll keep my bottom equation the same. Oh, and I notice that when I add these, everything cancels out. This is a true statement here, so I know that these are the same line, which means we're going to have infinite solutions, and that's what I'll choose right here. Now, you can ask yourself, what if, when I did this whole thing, I would have come down and gotten something like 0 equals 7, right? That's not true. And that would have told us that this was no solution. What kind of lines would they have been? They would have been parallel lines. Okay, this one I'm probably going to solve by substitution because the y is already solved for here. It's already isolated, so I can just take this top part and substitute in for the y in the second equation. So I'm going to have 3 times, and instead of y, I'm going to write negative 3x plus 9. Okay, 
Now I've got 27 equals 9. That is definitely not true. So this is exactly what we were just talking about. This means that there are no solutions to this system, which means that these must have been parallel lines, ones that never intersect. So here I'm going to say no solutions. Great. So you have two sets of problems to do to practice this. Make sure that you're using your notebook to show work just like I am. Um, and you'll be more successful. Awesome.